for this question, we have an electron that has an infinite wavelength. And after it travels through a potential difference, it has a wavelength lambda f of 1 times 10 to the minus 10. And it says, what's the potential difference that's transverse? We're going to draw a picture. So this picture shows the momentum initially is P0 because uh, momentum is equal to, for Drabolj, is equal to Planck's constant divided by the wavelength. If the wavelength is infinite, then the momentum is 0. And it travels from a 0 point potential to V1. OK, and so because there's a potential difference between these two points, there's going to be an electric field flowing in the opposite direction, which will cause the um, electron to gain energy. So this final momentum is lambda f, and so therefore, or p sub f, because it has a final wavelength of lambda f. So to solve for v1 in this situation, we can use energy. So assuming energy is conserved here, we have delta e from the electric uh, potential equal to e times delta v where delta V is V1 minus V0, but V0 is zero, so this is just E times V1. We also have uh, delta E equal to one half M times V final squared minus V initial squared. You can write this in terms of momentum. Since momentum is just mass times velocity, this would be one over two M because we're putting an M squared through the equation uh, multiplied by p final squared minus p initial squared, but p initial is zero, so this is just p final squared. So if we set these two equations equal to one another and we solve for the potential v1, we find that the potential is equal to p final squared divided by 2 times m, where m is the mass of the electron, times e, which is the charge of the electron, times, um, and, and that would be it. So now, we can substitute for p sub f, h bar over lambda f, since we said that's what the momentum is equal to for de, de Broglie. j. This would be Planck's constant h squared divided by 2 times m times e times lambda sub f squared. We were given lambda sub f in the start of the question. Planck's constant is equal to 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34. The mass of the electron is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. And then the charge of an electron is negative 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulomb. If we plug those values in, we find that this is equal to negative 150 volts. We can box that in as part of our solution to the question. Okay, and we are also asked to explain why the wavelength decreases. Well, the reason the wavelength decreases and the voltage is negative as expected, since the charge of the electron is negative, um, and the reason the wavelength decreases is because the velocity value increases of the electron. So because P is equal to MV, we can say, since the velocity increases, our wavelength, which is inversely proportional, decreases. We can also box that in as part of our solution.